Have you ever considered what it means to embrace the divine feminine within you? The divine feminine, a concept as ancient as time itself, is a potent force that exists within every one of us, regardless of our gender. It's a reservoir of intuition, compassion, empathy, and creativity. It's the nurturing spirit that heals, the peaceful whisper that soothes, and the creative force that brings life into existence. It's deeply rooted in spirituality and is a key to the door of inner understanding and self-discovery. In our modern world, the divine feminine is often overshadowed by the divine masculine, the force that represents logic, reason, and action. While both are essential for balance, an overemphasis on the masculine can lead to an imbalance, causing issues like aggression, dominance, and a lack of empathy. This is not a battle of sexes, but a call for harmony between two complementary energies that exist within us all. There's a common misconception that the Divine Feminine is only for women. That couldn't be further from the truth. It's not confined to gender. Men, women, and everyone in between we all carry these energies within us. Embracing the Divine Feminine is about nurturing the softer, more compassionate, intuitive side of ourselves. It's about honoring our emotions, our creativity, our capacity to nurture and to love. Another misconception is that the Divine Feminine is weak. In reality, it's incredibly powerful. It is the strength of a mother protecting her child, the resilience of a tree weathering a storm, the courage of a river carving a path through stone. It's the force that brings life into existence, the energy that heals and nurtures, the wisdom that guides us towards growth. In the realm of spirituality, the divine feminine is not just a concept, but a path to self-discovery, healing, and empowerment. It's about understanding and embracing our inherent wholeness and recognizing that we all carry within us the capacity for love, compassion, creativity, and wisdom. Unfolding the divine feminine within us begins with understanding it. The divine feminine is not a new age concept. Its roots run deep in our history. This profound energy, this sacred essence, has been a part of our collective consciousness for millennia. In the ancient world, the divine feminine was revered. She was the embodiment of fertility, wisdom, and creation. She was seen in the bountiful earth, in the cycles of the moon, in the nurturing flow of water. She was the goddess, the mother, the crone, the maiden. In early human societies, many of our ancestors worshiped the great mother. They recognized her power, her nurturing essence, her ability to create and sustain life. This reverence was reflected in their art, their rituals, their stories. Even in their understanding of the cosmos, the Divine Feminine was a central figure. As humanity progressed, the concept of the Divine Feminine evolved, but its essence remained. In ancient Greece, she was seen in the wisdom of Athena, the love of Aphrodite, the mystery of Persephone. In Hinduism, she was the Shakti, the primal cosmic energy, the dynamic force that moves through the entire universe. In Buddhism, she was Tara, the mother of liberation a deity who embodies compassion and the virtues of success in work and achievements. In the Abrahamic traditions, references to the divine feminine can also be found, albeit often more subtly. In Christianity, for example, the divine feminine is often associated with the Holy Spirit, the force of life and love that flows through all creation. Throughout time, the divine feminine has been a powerful symbol of balance, offering a counterpoint to the Divine Masculine. She represents the intuitive, the compassionate, the nurturing aspects of our nature. She is a call to connection, to unity, to empathy. In essence, the Divine Feminine is a universal energy, a sacred archetype that transcends cultural and religious boundaries. She is a reminder of our innate capacity for love, compassion, creativity, and wisdom. The Divine Feminine has always been a part of our spiritual heritage, silently guiding us towards balance and harmony. As we continue our journey, let's remember to honor this sacred energy, to embrace its wisdom, and to let it guide us towards a more balanced, compassionate, and harmonious existence. The Divine Feminine embodies a unique set of characteristics that we can all learn to cultivate. These traits are not merely confined to one gender, they are universal energies that exist within us all. Let's delve into these qualities, starting with intuition. Often referred to as our gut feeling, intuition is a powerful aspect of the divine feminine. It's that inner voice that guides us, that sense of knowing without conscious reasoning. 
Cultivating our intuition can lead to profound insights and guide us on our life's path. Next is compassion, a trait intrinsically tied to the divine feminine. Compassion is not only about understanding others' pain, but also about wanting to alleviate it. It's about recognizing our shared humanity and responding with kindness. By practicing compassion, we not only help others, but also foster a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Creativity, too, is a significant trait of the divine feminine. It's the ability to bring something new into existence, whether it's a piece of art, a solution to a problem, or a fresh perspective. Embracing our creativity can bring joy and meaning into our lives, and it also allows us to express our innermost thoughts and feelings. The Divine Feminine is also associated with nurturing. This isn't just about caring for others. It's also about nurturing ourselves. It's about attending to our own needs, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and fostering growth and self-love. Lastly, healing is a powerful aspect of the Divine Feminine. It's about recognizing our wounds, both physical and emotional, and taking steps to heal them. It's about finding balance and wholeness within ourselves and helping others to do the same. Each of these qualities, intuition, compassion, creativity, nurturing, and healing, can be developed and integrated into our everyday lives. They can help us to lead more fulfilling, balanced, and meaningful lives. Embracing these qualities allows us to nurture the divine feminine within us. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth, of finding balance and harmony within ourselves and with the world around us. So let's embark on this journey together, cultivating these traits and discovering our own divine feminine. The divine feminine and the divine masculine are not opposing forces, but complementary aspects of our being. These two energies reside within all of us, regardless of gender and they are essential to our personal and universal harmony. Imagine the divine feminine and masculine as two sides of a coin. They are different, yet they cannot exist without each other. They are not about gender roles, but about the energy they represent. The divine feminine embodies intuition, compassion, emotion, and nurturing, while the divine masculine stands for logic, strength, protection, and action. However, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. An imbalance between these two energies can lead to personal and societal issues. Too much masculine energy might result in aggression, excessive competitiveness, and a disregard for others' feelings. On the other hand, an overabundance of feminine energy could lead to passivity, oversensitivity, and a lack of assertiveness. To maintain a healthy balance, we must first acknowledge these energies within us. Recognize when you're operating from the divine feminine or masculine and strive to bring them into equilibrium. This isn't a one-time event, but a continuous journey of self-awareness and growth. Next, cultivate both energies. Engage in activities that boost your feminine side, such as meditation, spending time in nature, or creative expression. Likewise, strengthen your masculine side by setting goals, taking action, or standing up for what you believe in. Remember, this is not about suppressing one energy in favor of the other. It's about embracing both and allowing them to coexist in harmony. This balance is not a destination, but a dynamic state of being that evolves with us. Finally, don't be too hard on yourself. This balance is unique for each individual. It's not about achieving perfection, but about striving for wholeness, authenticity, and self-understanding. Achieving balance between the divine feminine and masculine is a key to holistic well-being. By embracing and harmonizing these energies, we can become more balanced, fulfilled, and empowered individuals capable of creating a more compassionate and balanced world. The Divine Feminine plays a pivotal role in our spiritual evolution. Imagine a river gently flowing, nurturing everything in its path. This is the essence of the Divine Feminine. It is the energy that fosters growth, nurtures life, and brings forth creation. It is an energy that is within us all, irrespective of our physical gender. By embracing the Divine Feminine, we enhance our spiritual growth, leading to personal transformation, increased self-awareness, and deeper connections with others and the universe. Let's delve deeper into this transformation. Imagine a seed hidden in the dark soil, waiting for the right conditions to sprout. It is the Divine Feminine that provides these conditions, nurturing the seed, allowing it to grow and bloom. Similarly, when we embrace the Divine Feminine within us, we create the right conditions for our spiritual growth. We cultivate a fertile ground for our spiritual seeds to sprout, grow, and eventually bloom into beautiful flowers of wisdom and compassion. 
Embracing the divine feminine also leads to increased self-awareness. It encourages us to look inward, to explore our deepest thoughts, emotions, and desires. It urges us to be honest with ourselves, to accept our strengths and weaknesses, and to love ourselves unconditionally. This self-awareness is the foundation of spiritual growth. It is the first step towards understanding who we truly are and our place in the universe. But the role of the divine feminine doesn't stop there. It also fosters deeper connections with others in the universe. It teaches us empathy, compassion, and unconditional love. It shows us that we are all interconnected, that we are all part of the same universal energy. This understanding allows us to feel a deep sense of belonging, to feel loved and supported by the universe. It also encourages us to extend this love and support to others, creating a ripple effect of positive energy. As we awaken the divine feminine within us, we embark on a journey of profound spiritual growth. This journey is not always easy, but it is always rewarding. It is a journey of self-discovery, of love and compassion, of growth and transformation. It is a journey that connects us with the deepest parts of ourselves, with others, and with the universe. It is a journey that truly embodies the power and beauty of the Divine Feminine. Connecting with the Divine Feminine is a deeply personal journey, yet there are universal practices that can assist us. The first practical method to connect with the Divine Feminine is through meditation. Meditation can be a powerful tool to quiet the mind and open the heart, allowing us to tap into the nurturing, intuitive energy of the Divine Feminine. Whether you're a seasoned meditator or just starting out, incorporating a focus on the Divine Feminine into your practice can yield profound results. Visualize a radiant, nurturing light imbued with love and compassion. Let this light envelop you, reminding you of the Divine Feminine's presence within and around you. Another way to connect with the Divine Feminine is by spending time in nature. Mother Earth is one of the most tangible expressions of the Divine Feminine, providing us with life, sustenance and beauty. When we immerse ourselves in nature, we're not just appreciating the world around us. We're honoring the Divine Feminine. Take a walk in the woods, sit by a river or simply spend some time in a park. Let the beauty and serenity of nature remind you of the Divine Feminine's nurturing essence. Creative expression is yet another avenue to connect with the Divine Feminine. The act of creation is inherently feminine, and whether it's through painting, writing, dancing, or any other form of art, expressing your creativity can help you tap into this Divine Energy. Don't judge your work, just let it flow from you unfiltered and uninhibited as a tribute to the Divine Feminine. Finally, nurturing relationships is a key way to connect with the Divine Feminine. This energy is all about connection, empathy, and love. By cultivating these qualities in your relationships, you're embodying the Divine Feminine. Listen with compassion, speak with kindness, and love without conditions. By integrating these practices, we can foster a deeper connection with the Divine Feminine. Remember, this connection isn't something you acquire. It's something you awaken within yourself. It's a journey of self-discovery, love, and profound spiritual growth. The Divine Feminine is an essential part of our spiritual essence waiting to be acknowledged and nurtured. It's a profound force, a vibrant energy that resides within us all, regardless of our gender. It's the essence of creation, of nurturing, of compassion, and of intuition. In this journey we've embarked on together, we've explored the origins of the Divine Feminine, delved into its characteristics, and discovered how it balances with the Divine Masculine. We've understood its vital role in spiritual growth and learned practical ways to connect with this incredible energy. To summarize, the Divine Feminine is not merely an abstract concept. It's a tangible, accessible force that can bring about profound changes in our lives. It's the nurturing compassion that heals our wounds, the intuitive wisdom that guides our decisions, and the creative force that births new ideas and possibilities. Understanding and embracing the Divine Feminine is not about rejecting or belittling the Divine Masculine. Instead, it's about recognizing and honoring the full spectrum of our spiritual essence. It's about creating a harmonious balance between the two energies, allowing them to complement and enhance each other. Embracing the Divine Feminine involves nurturing the qualities associated with it, such as compassion, intuition, creativity, and emotional intelligence. It means allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, to express our emotions openly, 
and to value cooperation and harmony over competition and conflict. The importance of understanding and embracing the divine feminine cannot be overstated. It's essential for our personal well-being, helping us to become more balanced, whole, and authentic individuals. And on a collective level, it can foster a more compassionate, harmonious, and sustainable world. So as we journey onwards in our spiritual exploration, let's carry with us the wisdom and insights we've gained. Let's cultivate an intimate relationship with the divine feminine, nurturing it within ourselves and honoring it in others. Embrace the divine feminine within you and witness the transformative power it brings to your life. It's a call to authenticity, a call to wholeness, a call to a more balanced and harmonious way of being. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it guide you on your journey.